Hey kids, thank you so much for joining me again for another video. Today we are working on an easy standard. I know you can do this one and I know it's something that your teacher or your parents may have already worked on with you, but before we get started, I want you to pause the video and run and get some of your very favorite fictional books. So fiction means a story. Sometimes we say fiction is fake. It's, non, it's not non-fiction. Non-fiction is true, real facts. So maybe a book you have that says all about spiders. That would be non-fiction. I want you to think of more fictional books. So fiction may have a story about a llama who talks. And so we've talked about this book before in previous videos. This is a good example of a fictional book. Get some of your favorite books ready, and I want you to have something to write and draw on handy so that you're ready when I ask you some of these questions. Are you ready? Go grab it. All right, let's get started. Today, we are working on identifying the characters in a story. So what story do you think this is? Do you know the story? This would be Jack and the Beanstalk. So Jack and the Beanstalk is a really great fairy tale, and we are working on the characters in the story. Is the Beanstalk a character? No, the characters in this story would be Jack, and of course the giant is one of the characters. There are also some other characters in this story. But this is just an example, and so I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stories and have you help me find the characters. Another thing we're gonna work on is setting and events. Do you remember the word setting? So your teacher may have told you or your parent may have told you, setting means where and when. So I want you to do this with your hands, ready? What does the setting mean? Say where and when. What does setting mean? Where and when. Did you say it with me? Let's try it one more time, ready? What does setting mean? where and when. Here's our book that we're gonna start with, Llama Llama Red Pajama. And so I want you to tell me if you know what the setting and the characters and the major events of the story are. I'm not gonna read you the whole book, maybe you have it at home, but let's just go ahead and flip through for a minute. And I want you to look at this first page. Who do you think the characters are in this book? Take a good look. There are only two characters in this story. And if you guessed Mama and Baby, maybe you don't know the names in this book, you haven't read it yet, it's Llama Llama, that's his name, and Mama Llama. Those are the two characters in this story. Now, Llama Llama is the main character in these books. You'll see his picture on the cover. A lot of times the main character's picture will be on the cover. And then you're gonna see also that Mama Llama is a big part of these books. So those are the two characters in the book. Now the setting, what could the setting mean? Do you remember the word setting mean? Do you remember that word? What do we say? Where and when, very good. All right, so where does this take place? Are they outside? Are they on the playground? This is a good hint. Let me flip through a little bit and show you. What is the setting? Are they building snow forts? No, the setting is Llama Llama's home. And specifically, a lot of this book takes place in his bedroom. Llama Llama is in his bed. So even if I flip to the end, woo, Llama Llama gets upset. He's still in his bed. Now, do you think this takes place in the daytime or in the evening at night? If you guessed night, you got it. So this book, the setting, is at Llama Llama's home in his bedroom at nighttime. That would be the setting. Now, we also wanna work on major events in the story. So if my mom and dad said, hmm, I need to know a little bit more about that story, or if your grandma and grandpa said, can you tell me that story? Can you tell me what happens in that story? I have to be careful because I don't want to spend a really long time talking about the very first page. If I spend too long talking about the first page, I haven't told them about the major events in the story. So I want to take my time 
but I also want to make sure I'm covering the most important parts of the story. Now the most important parts may be able to, you may be able to split the most important parts of the story into the beginning, the middle, and the end. So I want you to write the letter B at the top of your page. Then in the middle, I want you to write the letter M. And then at the last page, I want you to write, on the last part of the page, I want you to write the letter E. That's going to stand for beginning, middle, and end. And I want you to read a book tonight, and with your parents or your teacher's help, or your big brother or big sister, whoever's helping you at home, I want you to divide the book into the beginning, the middle, and the end. Think about the most important parts of the story. Don't forget to write about the end of the book. Another book that I love, I've talked about with you with other videos, is What Does Danny Do? Now, this book is a little bit unique. Who do you think the main character is? If you guess Danny, you're right. You didn't have to read the book to know that the main character is probably Danny. He's, in the, he's on the front cover of the book. The book is named after him. And we're gonna see him a lot in the stories, in the story. Well, this book does have stories because it's a choose your own adventure book and you're gonna have lots of different endings. So this one is a little bit different but I need to check for the main character, the setting, and the major events. Now this book, the setting, a lot of this story happens during school, at school. And so the setting may be during the school day, at Danny's school. I could draw a picture of the school building. I could draw some of the other characters in the book and talk about the beginning, middle, and end of the story that I read. Now, there are, I believe, eight different endings for this book. So if this is one that interests you, it would be a great one for you to check out. Now, the setting and the character in the events is gonna be different in every story that you read. Groove Accords in the city. Sometimes the characters are people. Sometimes the characters are animals. Sometimes they're make-believe animals. Now, who do you think the main character might be in this book? It's kind of a group of animals called the Groovicorns. I don't believe that this book actually even tells me their names, but it just talks about the Groovicorns. Those would be the characters and also unicorns. Unicorns and Groovicorns. Those are the characters in this book. Uh, the city looks really fun if I was drawing the setting for this book. What does setting mean? Where and when. Very good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tonight, I want you to work on character, setting, and events. So make sure to draw a picture of the characters in your story. If you can write about the characters, that would be even better. So write some words about the characters. I want you to think about the setting of the books you read. Where and when. And I also want you to try writing about the beginning, the middle, and the end of the book. So that helps you work on the major events in the story. Have a great rest of the day or great rest of the night, and I'll see you next time.